This is an Apple AirTag, and this is the newest piece of technology that car thieves are using to track down your car and steal it right out of your driveway. So in this video, we're gonna talk about these, figure out exactly how they work, what they're being used for, and then tell you how you can figure out if your car is being tracked by one of these. So these were released in early 2021 by Apple. They cost $30, or you can get a four pack for $100. So they're very affordable. It's not like there's a huge barrier to entry with the cost of these things, so pretty much anybody can buy one of these and the way they work is they actually ping off of iPhones so they're not GPS based they just run off of a little battery in here and anytime a modern iPhone passes by it, it doesn't need to be the owner of the AirTag any iPhone passes by it it will update its location and send that location to the owner of the AirTag so this is my personal AirTag it says R6 on it because this is the one I keep under the seat of my Yamaha R6 to keep it safe but criminals are sticking these on cars that don't belong to them, they can track them, and these things are just so small that they're really hard for the owner to find and even know about. So uh, we have a brand new one right here that hasn't been registered yet to any kind of account. So I'm gonna have Tommy register this one to his phone, and then we're gonna sneak it onto my car and see how long it takes me to notice. So Alex, this right here is that little air tag. We're gonna set it up with my iPhone. Now I'm gonna be really curious to find out. I'll be tracking you as you kind of drive along. I'm wondering if it's gonna send you a notification. I'm hoping it will because otherwise you would literally have no idea that one of these is with you. Cars are huge, this is tiny, so. Like a hey, you're being tracked kind of deal. Yeah. So we've got a brand new AirTag here. I'm gonna set it up to my phone so I can track Alex as he drives along. What should I name him? Custom name. I'm gonna name it CD Behavior. <laughs> this is actually really simple and you mentioned that these are actually produced by Apple, right? Yeah, Apple makes them, they run off Bluetooth, there's no GPS or anything, so anytime an iPhone with Bluetooth crosses by, it'll pick up the AirTag. And then what we can do is we can actually view their location in theory as they drive along using the app. So, go drive somewhere, I'll see if I can track you. Cool. Now Alex is inside the office, I told him to go hide while I secretly put the AirTag on his vehicle. Gotta look like a hooligan for this, I suppose. So I've just got some tape here, I'm gonna place that there. And then I think I'm gonna hide it underneath the front valence here. All right. So if I was a real thief, I've got a lot of options. I could do it down here in the bumper. I think another common place would perhaps be up here in the wheel wells, lots and lots of empty spaces to hide there. Certainly underneath, just a little bit of double-sided tape would be all it would take to get that on there. Rear wheel well, same thing. And then in the back, probably wouldn't choose the exhaust pipe because that would get hot, but certainly underneath the rear here, that'd be a great place to hide it. All right, so leaving the office for the day, head into my Jeep and uh, I know Tommy hid one on here, but I'd have no idea if I weren't looking for anything. So I'm just gonna get in the car, start driving, and see what happens. All right, Alex is walking out to the car. Now that is an unsuspecting potential victim there. You just get in. This tag is tiny. You can easily hide it someplace you would never expect just from getting into the car. And let's see if we can track him using my phone. So we're driving around downtown Boulder right now and I think this is a perfect spot to do this test because one, a lot of cars are actually stolen out of this area. I know that from personal experience. I actually came across a stolen car and reported it to the police at my last apartment building here in Boulder. But also there's a lot of young kids walking around. They all have iPhones. So pretty good chance that one of their phones is gonna pick up the air tag that Tommy hid somewhere on this Jeep. So I'm just gonna keep cruising around. Tommy's back at the office tracking me, so I have no idea how much info he's really getting, but I'm sure you guys know. They left the office about two minutes ago. It's 2.18 p.m. right now, and I can see that the little icon that is on their vehicle has moved, but I don't actually have active tracking, so the little car isn't moving down the screen. I just see that, you know, it's on this main road here away from our office, but I can't see the exact position. It's not like um, some cell phone trackers where you can see exactly where it's at. So I'm gonna shut down the app and reopen it. Nope, it's still in the same spot. So either it's fallen off or it's not very precise at actually tracking the vehicle.
All right, so update. Alex has been gone for a few minutes now with the air tag, and I saw his location kind of out here by the office. I saw it one more time, and now I'm kind of getting like this big blue circle, but not an exact location of where he went. It says approximate location. Your item is somewhere in the circle. We cannot currently show you the precise location. Your item is somewhere in the circle. I wonder why it can't show me the exact location. It's about 1.6 miles away. Six minute drive it looks like. Let me try opening it up again. There he is, okay. So I shut down the app and now I see that he is 1.9 miles away on the corner of 28th, kind of by this restaurant, 28th in Valmont. Hey Tommy. Hey Alex, are you guys still on the move? We are on the move right now. All right, let me see if I can pull up my phone and see where you're at. So it says your spot CD behavior updated two minutes ago and last time I see you here, you're on 13th in college, right on what we call the hill in Colorado. Is that pretty close? Well, we are pulling up right now to a street sign. Let me see, I know we're pulling up to college. I don't know what street we're on right now, so hold on. We are at 14th in college. 14th in college, all right, mine just updated and it has you right at 14th and Euclid, 14th and College, right in the middle of the block. Wow, that is super close. Have you gotten any notifications that I, you're being tracked? I haven't gotten anything yet, but I know that's supposed to be one of the features with these, so. It looks like the tracking on your end's working, which is a little scary, and I'm not getting any kind of notification yet, so I think we need to keep driving around for a little bit. Oh, now it has you at 14th and College, heading toward 13th. So what I noticed on my end, which is super interesting, is when you left the office, we're in a less densely populated area, it was really slow to update, but as you headed more toward downtown Boulder, where in theory there's a lot more iPhones near you, it started updating much more regularly. Yeah, if you're in a rural area, this might not work that well, but in a in a big crowded city, definitely working. All right, so definitely drive around some more, see if you get a notification, and then come to a stop somewhere and uh, give me a call and I'll see if I can find your exact location. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. bye. All right, so we've been driving around for over an hour. I can't get any sort of notification to show up on my phone telling me that an AirTag is traveling with me. Um, and I think that's kind of a fair result. You know, you wouldn't be looking for that if you didn't know it was there. So um, we're gonna park now and pull up to my favorite lunch spot, which is Cosmo's Pizza and just hang out. We're gonna shoot Tommy a call and see if he can uh, pinpoint exactly where we are. Oh, Alex is calling. Yo, what up, Alex? Hey, so I just pulled up to an undisclosed location as if I was parking at my house for the night and you're trying to steal my car. We're not at my house because I don't want the viewers to know where I live, but let's see if you can figure out where I'm at. Clearly, you are not where I am, so you are on the map in Boulder, zooming in. All right. It says you are in a parking lot with a Dairy Queen Orange Julius that's closest to you, a Game Force Boulder, Moe's Original Barbecue, and Cosmo's Pizza. We're at Cosmo's Pizza right now. Game Force is right off to our right, so that's uh, a good result, but a scary result. You know exactly where I am. Yeah, and then I can even get the address of where you're at too, which is 685 30th in uh, what about, Boulder. Like, directions? If you wanted to actually come to my location, does it give you like an easy option to just navigate there? Let me see, let me click this button. And yep, it says I can be there in 10 minutes. It'll even show you how to wow. get to your location. Gives you traffic information and all, huh? Yep, so I can know the quickest way to get to your location. Yeah, so it's got it's got it down pretty much right to the parking lot. Maybe not the exact space you're in. It says you're closer to um, Dairy Queen, which is like, I don't know, 500 feet from Cosmos, but... Uh, right. Yeah, it's pretty alarming. But yeah, if you were someone, you know, you knew exactly what car this was, so it's close enough where if you got to this area, you'd be able to look around and just find the car with your eyes. So here's what I think we should do. Um, I have an option on here to play the sound. Do you want to see if you can find it when it's beeping, or do you want to try to do it yourself with just the car sitting there? Um, let's do this. I'm gonna head back to the office. That way you're kind of with me when I'm trying to find it. I'm gonna try and find it without sound first and look in kind of the most obvious places that I would think to look. And then if I can't find it, we'll try the sound. All right, sounds good. 
All right, Alex, so it's about 3.45. You guys left here at roughly 2.18 p.m. So you've been driving around for over an hour and I've been pretty consistently tracking your location. Now, I can't see exactly as you drive along the road, but every couple minutes I could get it to refresh and then it would show me exactly or near about exactly where you were at. Yeah, scary stuff. So according to Apple, there's supposed to be a feature where if your phone recognizes an AirTag that's following you that isn't registered to your own Apple ID, it'll send you a notification actually showing you on a map where this AirTag has been following you around. We haven't been able to get that to work in our hour of testing, um, so unfortunately we weren't able to test that feature out. But it's something that should exist and give it long enough, hopefully it'll send you a little notification. Right, so let's do this. So I've hidden the AirTag somewhere on the car. Now, just looking at it, you probably wouldn't expect there's an AirTag on the car, right? Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. All right, well give it a good thorough look, see if you can track it down. Cool, so I guess first places I would look, maybe someone, you know, taped it behind a door handle or something. Super obvious one is the gas cap, although a lot of cars these days have locking gas caps, so not an option on every vehicle. This one does lock, so nothing in there. Let's see, under here maybe a good spot. Trailer hitch is always a good spot. So let's pull the hitch. Nothing in there, nothing on the inside of the hitch there, but that's a good place to look. Uh, this would be a great spot to hide one, is in the little seven pin wiring harness. Just slap it in there, let the cover shut, it would hold it in, but nothing in there that I can see. I'll take a peek under. We're not going for a how-to, Alex, on where to hide air tag. This is know, not an inform- I'm trying to be thorough here, searching all the spots. I get it. This is not supposed to be an informational video on how to track someone, but it is worth noting these common areas where someone could have done it to your vehicle. Exactly. So nothing there. Wheel wells, probably a good area to look, although these are pretty well sealed up. The spots he's picking are terrible. <laughs> on the inside of a door handle, someone's going to grab the inside of a door handle. <laughs> not the back seat if you don't have kids. Case does not approve. I don't remember the last time I touched my back door handle. Alex is bad at stealing things. I don't know, dude. I think I, uh, I think it's actually remarkably easy finding spots that are harder to find. There's a ton of places you can hide one of these little things on this car. Yeah, depending on the vehicle, you might have some recesses in the grill, and the air tag is really, really small. You're gonna have to help me. I have no idea. Really? Yeah. All so right. one of the features with these. Um, is that they're supposed to play a sound when you get that notification that we never got. So I'll have Tommy trigger the sound so at least I'll know if it's loud enough to spot on my own. All right, this is the thief now triggering the spot. I hear something. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, you're close. Sounds like it's coming from here. <laughs> if this were real, this would be driving me crazy because I knew I know someone's tracking me, but I can't find it. Now the alarming thing here is that Alex has been searching for several minutes. I am playing the sound for him and he still can't find it. But the scary thing is it took me well under two minutes to actually place a tag in such a hidden area. And I could probably do that quicker if I was, um, you know, unfortunately a thief looking to track a vehicle. You can pull this cover off here where no. the, like, the fog lights go no, no, Nothing's no. been removed. I removed no panels. Uh, nothing was unscrewed. You're getting colder. I was close up yeah, by the front. Yeah, really close. It's gotta be in here. Ah. Oh, I feel some gaff tape. Okay, so that's interesting. Looking through here, I can hear it. I can't see a thing. So it's not until I actually get my hand in here and feel around that I can feel it. And even still. Like, if you weren't a total car guy and you didn't know that, like, there wasn't supposed to be something kind of soft under there? Yeah, if you didn't know that, I mean, if you use gap tape, which could be like... There it is, though. So that's how easy it is. Just some tape and, uh... AirTag is right there and I would have no idea if Tommy didn't start playing that sound. So I think the thing we learned today is that unfortunately this could be a technology exploited by criminals. Track your vehicle and then imagine if Alex had driven this vehicle home for the night, the, uh, the, the, the thief would know where you live and then would, you know, 
have potentially a lot of time to actually break in your vehicle and steal it. Yeah, the good news is with these is if you take the back cover and just rotate it off, you can actually pop the battery right out. So if you find one on your car, just take the battery out, no one will be able to track you. So did you just get a free air tag now? I guess so, but I don't think I can use it because it's linked to your account. Oh, still, okay. So there you go. Well, kind of spooky stuff, guys. We will keep you updated on any you know, um, kind of changes we discover in this tracking software that, that's typically used for backpacks and you know dogs and that kind yeah. of thing. And please let us know down in the comments below if you've actually gotten one of those notifications that an unrecognized AirTag is following you. Super curious about that. Yep, all right. We'll keep you updated and see you next time.